Hey guys, and welcome back to Haunting Grounds. When we last, Haunting, I always say Haunting Grounds, Haunting Ground. When we last left off, uh, we made it back into this little sanctuary. We were running around, not really sure what to do. Uh, I've been playing this game off camera because I've been really enjoying it. Um, I haven't completed it yet, but I am pretty far through. Anyway, when we last left off, uh, I was playing around with this alchemical device, and I spent a not inconsiderate amount amount of time getting some cool items which I am going to show here anyway one of the crown jewels of this is the metal boots. Yes. Steel toed boots. Attacks become twice as powerful. Minor chance of hitting enemies with a power attack. Now, this is pretty freaking cool. Um, it essentially doubles our attack. Now, the only real problem with these boots is yes, they double your attack, but twice of nothing is still, well, nothing um and we have an onion here for our uh canine friend however onions are actually bad for him so we're going to throw this away also we have um this which i believe is one of the best healing items for him uh, we have eight of those which is pretty fucking nice we made those through alchemical means not only do they fully heal him they also make him happy so to have eight of those is pretty cool uh magnesia yes yes we've got this uh benham esker as well now this is actually bad for him so we're gonna throw that away from what i can remember I think, yes, I think what this one does is it puts him into a rage, makes him uh, really vicious, which I guess in some circumstances is good. Now, however, if we feed that to him um, while we're actually on our own with him, he'll actually attack us. But it also makes him sad. Uh, he doesn't like being fed these. So we're probably, you know, just going to throw those away. Because we don't need them. We're not going to be feeding him anything bad. Uh, so I believe I also got the diamond choker. Greatly reduces the speed at which stamina is lost. And doubles our stamina recovery speed. Yeah. Uh, kind of cool, I guess. As opposed to the obsidian one, which reduces the, the, our stench of Azoth. Which is very limited, um, really, in how useful it is. Anyway, let's get the ball rolling, shall we? So, what we actually need to do here, we need to get our fine ass down and out. And if I was actually going the right way, that'd be great. Now, remember that corridor, that red corridor with all of the uh, strange holes? We actually need to go back there now. In fact, actually, probably the best way to do that is down here. And we're going to find something in that area, which is kind of interesting. We don't need to go that way. And as you know, a Huey is either. Actually, what we will do is drop a save. Just because. Because I've save stated the game and I don't really like relying too heavily on save states. Uh, there we go. So that's my test file there. Oh, God. <laughs> that's an old test file. Right, so we're going to drop a save. We're going to be saving this video over number eight. I've definitely relearned my lesson. If you have multiple save so, uh, slots, use them. Hey, Huey. Come on, buddy. Let's get out of here. Who's a good boy? Huey is some of the time. I do mean some of the time. He's, uh, he's kind of a pain in the ass when he wants to be as well. All right. Fiona. Who beckons me? Maybe I'm hearing things, but I swear there are voices coming from the holes. 
Search the hole. I. What could possibly go wrong? Obtain the scrawled memo. Okay. Scrawled memo, you say. Damn that Ricardo. He has sealed off the main gate, but not to worry, there's another, less known way out of the castle. An old mansion lies beyond the Bella Castle. Freedom to the outside lies through that mansion. I'm writing down the directions for getting to the mansion below. On the first floor, of the tower that lies on the other side of the suspension bridge, there are two round contraptions. These are known as the lunar panels. Use the lunar panels to shine light on the wall in the back room. Doing so will open the way to the chapel. There you should take the goddess key. Beam the light out of the second floor of the music tower, then adjust the three lunar panels to proceed forward. Fiona, please understand that you... That my only desire is to free you from this wretched tomb of a castle, Lorenzo. Hmm. Well, okay, Lorenzo. We're going to believe him for now because we don't really have a lot of choice. Uh, I mean, no one else is trying to help us. I mean, maybe the mage... Or the maid, not the mage. We don't know a mage. I've been playing too much Stardew Valley. Um, maybe the maid is helping us just a little bit. So we need to go back. Alright. Come on, Huey. Let's go. We've got a thing to fiddle with. Now, we actually fiddled with one of the refractors earlier. And in our bumbling, we actually managed to uh, set it in the right um, way. So that was kind of lucky. So now, when we opened the drawer, we actually found the correct item that we need here. Hopefully, uh, Uncle Bad Touch is going to leave us alone for now. Right. So let's fiddle with this device. Luckily, when we set it in the right um, angle, there we go. When you set it in the right angle, it does actually click. So you don't really have to worry about it too much like that. Anywho, let's get this next one. There we go. Robert's your father's brother. Little bit of a throwback to Resident Evil, kind of. At least it sort of feels that way. So, that leads us to a new interesting place. So, let's dump a quick save down. And let's get out of here. Come on, Huey. Let's go. Come on, buddy. Buddy old pal. What could possibly go wrong here? Oh, right. Yes, everything. Gotcha. So, what have we got? The path beyond is the road of darkness. Do not go without a guide. At least ye lose yourself to the darkness within. This has to mean something. But what? Well, dear viewer, let us uh, sally forth and find out. So, here we have a room um, that is actually completely black. You know, 
apart from the fact that it's kind of actually not, uh, I didn't even realize this was such a supposedly difficult puzzle. So if we actually we just saved the game, didn't we? So um, I will show you what you're supposed to do is send Huey off, but it's pretty obvious. Go, Huey. Come on, Huey. There we go. Well, you're supposed to follow Huey anyway. But if you're stupid, you can just run straight ahead. And that happens. And a rather savage and somewhat unpleasant experience happens. To Fiona and us, we're fine. But Fiona definitely, uh, well. <laughs> Let's just say she's, uh, she's not walking away from that one. Anyway, let's load the game and do this properly, shall we? I was going to use a save state, but there's no point. There we go. Right. So, if we actually run the right way, Fiona, I know nobody likes being lost in the dark, but we need to. We need to sally forth and head onwards to the chapel through here, like so. Okay, so we don't need Huey. The path, I mean, it's not even dark, you know, maybe on an old CRTV, um, you know, maybe that was a little bit harder, but on my gaming monitor, like, it's just, yeah. <laughs> I was confused that we actually needed Huey there at all. I was expecting much more of some sort of cryptic puzzle here. Anywho, we are here in the chapel. Now, chapel's an interesting area. Um, we have these items here. It is tightly fastened. It must be to make sure the chandelier doesn't accidentally fall. If broke, somebody could get hurt. Yeah, that'd be awful, wouldn't it? Now, we can't actually break these with our feet. Because they are... Significantly stronger than our pathetic little limp noodle kick. But that's fine. All will be revealed. Have you got that feeling? That uncomfortable feeling that you're not alone? Hmm. Yes. Anyway. There are some letters engraved here. To the seeker of the sacred techniques of arts. Or ours, I should say. Obey the will of Hermes, Divine Cain, and hasten to the secret staircase. What? A cane? Hmm. Curious. I bet this is related to that goddess statue. Uh, we can search more thoroughly, but we're not going to do that yet. Why are we not going to do that yet? Well, quite simple, really. We are going to... See... If we can... Okay, so... Poochie must be on maximum health, which is good. Oh, you know, no reason. I just thought it might be worth healing our pooch. <clears throat> yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, let's search more thoroughly. Well, we now have a key, which is good, because we like keys. Hmm. What's that boy? Oh. Yes, our very slow-witted friend has come back to haunt us. Well, now also, I had an interesting comment from... Oh, God. From one of you guys. Um, informing me that he's not actually saying, my darling. Oh, he's actually saying, 
my dolly. And that makes a whole load of sense. So anyway, the rub with this one is we need to uh, get him to run into... Really? We need to get him to run into these and smash them up. Now, we don't actually want Huey to get too involved here because... Damn it. Because Huey will get injured. And the trouble with that is he'll actually lower his... Um, uh, his friendship with us, which is really kind of annoying. Now, this is actually pretty hard to get this right. Yeah, he's gonna attack us. We might actually have to use some lavender here. I know, I know, Huey. I know, buddy. I know. There we go. Yeah, this is <laughs> really infuriating. Now, you can actually defeat him uh, normally, but we won't get the ending that we're aiming for. So we're going to use some chamomile or some lavender to calm us down. There we go. Come on, buddy. Come on. Use that big old brain of yours. Okay, that didn't work at all. So I'm... Hughie. Huey. I don't want you to... There we go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Attack, attack, attack. Oh, you bastard. Yeah, really difficult. Right, and we don't the, we don't want Huey to get hurt either. There we go. That's what we want. We want to keep actually hitting. There we go. We want him to hit those until they're actually broken. And this actually takes a considerable amount of time. Oh shit. Uh, oh, thanks, Huey. That was actually really cool of you. Just saying. Yeah, we need to try not to get Fiona to panic here, which is really is the rub. Now, funny enough, this is literally like one of the hardest things that I found. And as you can see, Huey, right? Huey's actually died. You'll you'll see that he keeps running in the way, and you you don't really have any control over him. This has actually gone really badly. But, you know, we'll roll with it. And we're dead anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Oh, that was unfortunate. Yeah, yeah we're just going to um, have our back played with in a really uncomfortable and unfortunate manner. Yeah, this fight's actually difficult, but it's difficult... Not because it's difficult to understand what to do. It's difficult because you have a few things against us. You've got to get our friend Uncle Bad Touch there to actually attack those uh, rope pulleys. Which is really difficult. It's way harder than it should be because you kind of have to be pixel perfect. Another issue you have, which you can see is in this particular fight Huey just really gets in the way you can't tell him to go stay sit in a corner because that only lasts for a few seconds and then he'll automatically come back up to you and what happens most of the time as you see there is Huey will actually trip up and just get in the way of Uncle Bad Touch, so Huey will be taking lots of damage and stopping Bad Touch from smashing the actual chandeliers. So that, yeah, this is a prime example of the Huey mechanic just actually getting in the way <laughs> of the game. From what I've played, one of the few examples of it getting in the way. Um, because for the majority of the game, it actually works really, really, really well. And it's really cool, and it's really fun, and it's a unique system. But on this particular part... Oh boy! Huey... Huey's kind of a, kind of a double-edged sword. And I think that's putting it lightly. Right, so anyway guys, I will catch you back there in a second. 
Once more we're feeling, huh? Right, Huey. Right. You stay, all right? You just, you just gotta be a good little popper, and you stay where you are. Hey, there we go. Look at that. That was a solid hit. Right, we want him to start, like, doing that weird spark out thing. So that one's now broken, which is cool. We just need to get him to... No, hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it. Hit it. Oh, you silly fool. Come on. Go go do your crazy head rub thing. Come on. Uh, okay, you know what? That also works. It wasn't elegant, but it worked. So with that, we finally defeated um, Diabetes, which is good. So now he's not actually going to come after us. Uh, and we've done it the humane way, I suppose. We've defeated him without actually killing him. Now what that's going to do, that actually puts us on the path uh, for the good ending, which is good. Now also, because we didn't kill him, we can do some other things. Involving him, no less. Oh, I almost did a thing. I did a thing. I did a stupid thing, guys. I did a really stupid thing, guys. <laughs> yeah, easy. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> uh, fuck. Once more with feeling, eh? Am I right? Right, let's try that. There we go. That's better, isn't it? Now, anyway, as I was saying, before we were so rudely interrupted by death, um, now we've defeated uh, Diabetes, we actually are in a pretty good position because we can explore the castle almost completely. Uh, or at least, actually, not almost. Everywhere we've been so far, we can now explore without actually having to worry about anything. Uh, which is nice, but oh, nice because we've actually defeated him um, passively. What we can do is round up some items. So, come on, Huey, let's go upstairs because we can take him upstairs now. Now, if you remember, there was a item up here. Now we have the key to that door, but we don't want to use it yet. Because there's some brutey little bonuses that we can do now. 
Uh, we need to go down here. Like so. Now there's an item on this rock here, or this broken pillar, if you will, uh, which we couldn't actually get before, but now we can, because Huey can actually get here. We need to call him, and I probably could have gone a better way, uh, a more optimized route. Like I say, we don't need to worry now, because we don't have any enemies. Oh, Huey, I need you to fetch something for me, Pooch. Come on, Huey. Come on, Huey. You, you're not. There we go. Good boy. Good boy. There's a good hound. Right, come with me. I need your superior dexterity. Okay, so we can actually get him out here now. And if we get him here, we can go get him to grab go that. Huey. Go on, boy. Go on. Go on. Go, Huey. Go on, Huey. Good lad. There we go. We got another medallion. Excellent. Good boy. There we go. Let's go. Let's go shake poor. Sit. Come on, birdie. Let's give you some fusses. And we'll shake his paw. Because he's such a good Sit. doggo. Shake. There we go. Lovely. Good. Right, now we're all good. Um, now, uh, there is another thing that we can do. Uh, which is unique to not killing uh, diabetes. Which is, we can actually go to his little hut. Where he is retreated and he's... Uh, well, I'm not sure what he's doing. And I don't really want to think about what he's doing. And you know what? You can't make me think about what he's doing. But we're going to go and have a chat with him. Kind of, anyway. <clears throat> Communication isn't his strong point. But that's fine. Fiona is a smart girl. And it looks like Huey's caught up with us as well, which is excellent. So, let's go back to his shack. And let's go see our defeated friend. Frenemy, I guess. Um, yeah, I mean... Uh, yeah, okay, let's just talk to him. Well, he gives us a key. As a peace offering. Now, the smudged key. If you remember uh, back along, we actually found a toilet um, in the castle. Now, in the, that toilet, one of the cubicles uh, was locked. And it mentioned it was very dirty and very smudged. Let's go and have a little poke around in there shall we if I can actually remember the best way to get ah yes this will do this will do nicely so we go down here down here again we can indeed find the toilet I guess we might as well have a bit of a drink at the sink as well because why not I wonder if this water is drinkable. Well, I hope so. Be a little bit awkward if it wasn't. Hey, status restored. Perfect. Now, I believe it's this one here. Aye, the door is locked. Well, that's okay. Given to you from a Diabilitas. It could use a good cleaning. Well, we're not going to worry about that. Oh, one thing I didn't show off either. If you examine his bed... I can't remember if we did this earlier. If you examine his bed, uh, Fiona will say there's no way she's going to lay down on that. Smart girl. Don't know what's on there. Probably never been cleaned. Anywho. Now, this leads us into this little secret area. That, now, you can only get here if you get that key, obviously. What's this? 
and we get a Magist medallion, which is really, really good. And I used it to synthesize something pretty bloody spectacular uh, <laughs> in my um, off-cam game. Uh, also, there is another item in here, but we can't get it because we already have it. There is the metal boots in this room as well. The boots that allow us to do twice the damage. Uh, wish I'd know. I mean, it kind of feels like a weight of a medallion, I guess. Because you can just pick them up here for free. But having said that, they're not really anything to write home about. Yes, they're better. But let's be fair, spitting in the guy's face would probably do more damage than uh, our little weak noodle kick. So, um, now I've also synthesized much better boots in my uh, off-cam game. I've got boots that explode when you kick the enemy, which seem pretty interesting. Um, and I've got steel metal boots that do five times the damage. Uh, and even, I'll be honest, even five times the damage doesn't seem brilliant. I mean, I'm sure it helps. Uh, for sure, it helps. But yeah, it just, mm, it doesn't seem as, as uh, game breaking. I suppose to be fair, if you think about the fact that with this kind of attack power, you can't really fight back. It really is a, a last defensive option. However, with the times five boots, fighting back is actually a very realistic option. And yeah, so I guess it does help quite a bit. And as for the exploding boots, that I've also seen this. Ah, shit. Good boy. Come here, boy. Sit. Come here. Come here. Sit. Give me some paw. Give me some paw. Actually, let's see if we can... That was really annoying. Ah, oh, you can't use that here. Whoops! I did a bad... I'm sorry, Pooch. I don't like the way you can kick him, I'll be honest. I wish we, we didn't have that option. But, uh... Wow, this is, uh... This is... This is, this is getting some, some serious fuss right now. There we go. Make him happy. Sit. Come on. How do we? Sit. Why can't I shake his paw? Sit. Sit. Good boy. Okay, it's not letting me shake his paw, but okay. Right. Anyway, um, yeah, and and uh, like I say, I've got the explody boots as well, but I don't really know which boots do more damage. I don't know whether the exploding ones are more powerful or what, but hopefully. Uh, yeah, see, that is my save off camera. Um, so we're going to drop a save there. Yeah, I don't know. To be honest, it doesn't really tell you like how much attack power something does. So I guess it just takes experimentation. But anyway, we're here. We've got everything we need. Now we've just got to get out of here. Go through the door and uh, onwards to freedom. But that's going to have to wait for the next video. Thank you very much for watching, guys. And as always, till next time.